this morning we both went to the gym together, which is not normal for a Monday. I usually always go to the gym every Monday. I used to go to the gym every day, just with where I'm at, and like the exercises I've been enjoying. They're not in the gym, and that's totally okay. I'm a huge fan of switching up your workouts and your routine. It keeps things more interesting for me, and it keeps me like more motivated. Makes it fun. Yeah. We were college athletes, so for us, an hour workout is a medium day. Don't compare yourself to us. Uh, you know, to you. Like a medium workout might be 10 minutes and that's totally okay. We are just, we've been training our whole lives. Yeah. Um, so our hard days are gonna look very different than a lot of people. And now we're gonna go do dance, which is not a workout, but it's definitely some movement in our day that we won't get after the wedding. But yeah, we're standing for like an hour straight. We're moving around. We're moving around, and, we're dancing. Yeah, we're dancing. A bit. Yeah, it's, it's a little, it gets a little toasty in there. About to head to my workout, but first I always have a little shot of pre-workout for some energy. Hello, it is, what time is it? It's nine o'clock. I was up in Adam today. I had to go pick up my dresses, which I picked them up, yay. But I left the house at eight o'clock and I didn't get back to my mom's until one o'clock and then I spent the rest of the day working on some wedding stuff because we're making all the menus and the programs and everything. So I hadn't worked out yet, but I was like, I really wanna work out, but I was feeling pretty tired. So I had like half of a serving of pre-workout and I went for a 45 minute run, which ended up being about just under five and a half miles. And it just felt really good to like sweat. Running helps me a lot with like my anxiety and stuff. So I made a promise to myself that I would run every day up until the wedding, just to help ease any like anxiety or anything that I have. I love some new body, you know? Wednesday's usually a pretty light day for me because I'm pretty sore from Monday and Tuesday's workout. So I'll go for a short run today, a mile or two. I like to bring the dogs with me if they're in the mood for it, which Shotzi always is. So let's go. So Shotzi's very excited, obviously, as you can see. When we go on runs, I like to wrap Shotzi's leash around my waist because she runs out in front of us and she pulls. Um, and then Mila, I just wrap around my upper body like that. So my hands are free and they can run alongside me. Good job. Good job. Okay. Ooh, hello. It is 9 a.m. I usually like to work out earlier than this, especially when I schedule workout classes. But with the way my appointments lined up and my schedule for today, it just made more sense if I went to a later workout class and then went straight to my appointment. I'm doing Pilates, which it's been a minute. I haven't done it in like three weeks, so I'm excited to get back into it. I'm gonna go kick butt. Just to Pilates, my legs are like shaking. Pilates focuses on muscle endurance so you never like fully come out of your squat or come out of your lunge and the movements last a really long time so you'll be in your squat like this and then come up but you never fully come up and you just go right back down you go really slow so it really gets your muscles fatigued it just works your muscles in a different way than like traditional strength training definitely targets everything it's a good class I feel like one of the reasons we're able to stay very active um, is that all of our friends really enjoy doing outdoor things as well, hiking, playing pickleball, surfing, and it's a lot easier to be active when you're doing it with a group of friends and having fun. I don't follow any specific diet. I don't count my macros. I don't really track anything. For a really long time, I forced myself to overeat because I was a football player growing up and I was always told that I was too small and I needed to gain weight. So I forced myself every two hours to have a meal. It's not an exaggeration. I would have five to six full meals a day. So now I don't count anything. I don't force myself to eat. I eat when I'm hungry. I eat what I want. I generally eat pretty healthy. I don't eat a lot of processed foods. I eat a lot of protein. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. So I think I stick to a generally pretty healthy diet, but I don't restrict myself and I don't like thinking too much about what I'm eating. I was getting ready to go do a little bit of yoga and then Mila pressed walk. And I was like, sure, I'll take you for a walk if you want to go. And 
I just wanted to get some movement in, do a little active recovery. Why not? So mom and I have been putting together our dinner menus literally all day. I went for that walk this morning and then dance, but I haven't actually worked out. Neither has she, so we're just gonna take the pups for a little walk around the block and say hi. <laughs> All right, workout done. Ended up being very good workout because the playlist was very good today. And I, uh, I have this little trick that I like to do where I go into Spotify and I turn up the bass and actually I just turn up all the different audio levels so that the music is extra loud and it's probably not very good for my ears, but it's good for my workout. Pickleball time. We're going to pickle. It's hot today. It's like 90 at the beach. Very, very Which hot. Which is crazy. It's like 103 where my parents live, but. Wow. What's today? Long run Saturday. Are you participating? I'm gonna try to run long run Saturday. I said a sentence last night that I think made me sound like an old man. I said my hip hurts from playing pickleball. You're old and you're getting older. So he, <laughs> he's getting in bed and I look over, he's walking like this. And I was like, what's wrong with you? Randomly, my like hip flexors really started bugging yesterday. So I feel like, I feel like an old man. Hi, Shotzi. <laughs> I like that they can just barely see the top of her head. But yeah, in um, college, su like Sundays were always our long run days. And then I just kind of carried that over and I always try to do a long run on Saturday. It's not always a long run, but we always run on Saturday. Sometimes it's just like four miles, just which is not miles. long, super long for us. This is definitely my favorite part of any run I go on. We get to run right along the surf break. It's Labor Day weekend, so the beach is packed. So I'm two miles in. I'm going slow for me. Um, very sweaty, very hot, very tired. But I decided to run somewhere I've never ran before to kind of keep it interesting and keep me from getting bored. Usually when I do that, I'll run farther than I normally would if I took a route I know because I'm kind of like exploring and stuff. So today we're on PCH. I didn't even know that there was a sidewalk or a path on PCH. So that's exciting. Hi. Okay, we are four miles in. Um, I'm stopping like every mile or half a mile, just depending on what the hills are like. It doesn't matter how fast you go, it's just that you're enjoying it and you're moving your body. Um, yeah, I'm dripping sweat. And um, I'm probably just gonna keep going. I really don't wanna run back because that seems very daunting. So I'm just gonna keep going and have Brock pick me up when I'm ready. I did just under eight miles. My watch died mm -hmm. also. And now I'm eating or drinking a delicious smoothie and I have a second one right there waiting for me. Brock maybe. Before our runs, we were both like, we'll be lucky if we make it to three. Mm -hmm. Like it's so hot out, it's so gross out. I almost just like didn't work out at all because I was so not looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. But we both worked out and we did way more than we thought we were capable of. So I think that's like a good, what's the word for it? Like a 
good example, good example of us following our intuition and our bodies, listening to our bodies. Yeah, like listening to our bodies, but also a good example that like, you might not always feel good at the start of a workout, but sometimes during the workout is when you start to feel good. Mm -hmm. Like my first mile was my slowest mile. Me too. My legs were so heavy. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, the, this is not gonna work. And then I ended up going eight miles. Mm -hmm. Now we rest. Now we rest. We were in the middle of playing pickleball last night and my hip just randomly really started bugging. It felt like an old man. And today it's like all up in my groin and hamstring. So I'm rolling out, which I wouldn't usually do. If I don't usually stretch, I should. Probably to avoid random hip pains and random ailments like this, but hopefully this helps. I think what probably happened is I was lunging for a ball when we were playing pickleball. And I probably just like overextended myself and didn't realize it, something like that. I can see that happening. I only rolled out for like two minutes, but honestly that feels a lot better. I should do this more often.